Hi folks, Slade the Black Mage here, and we're back with a tutorial. Today we are looking at the Black Mage Industries Military Grade Chassis Atlas Walker. A six-legged machine that, quote-unquote, fires plasma. Yes, that is a big old plasma cannon on it. But, keep in mind, with this being Minecraft, you can make it whatever you want. You want it to be lasers, you want it to be chickens, you want it to be pudding. Whatever you want. So, I was asked to turn this into a tutorial, and I figured the best way to do this is to break it up into three parts. The first part is going to be the chassis itself. The second part, the hub. You know, the thing that connects it all together. And finally, the big old cannon itself. So, let's get into the first part. Alright, so the first part we're going to start off with is the legs of the chassis. So, as you can see, I've got these andesite walls set up already. These are going to be A, the spacers between, you know, how much space you need, plus they're also inside the legs. So, ah, so the first part of the leg down here, upside down, basalt stair connects to the andesite. Then we have the basalt stairs on three sides. Now, something to note, you do not need to use basalt and all the colors that we use in here. I just, this is what I use for my building. So, we get this. I'm a fan of the three, not the three, but the two up. So we get two here, one's here, and then we get that here. So the red sandstone as the cap, the basalt, and the fun thing is, if you lay it sideways, you know, on its, you know, flat, you can use just the leg itself for some other piece. So two up. This adds just a little color differential to it, a little extra design, flair. So now that we got this one leg, let's do it again. Uh, I'm only going to build two of these with you on camera because I get the feeling that if you need to go through this, you can just, you know, rewind. Uh, but otherwise, you know, just follow along. It'll be easy enough. So, you get your flat squares like this, you get your upside down stairs like this, regular side stairs like this, and like this. Then we add this. Alright. Now, I want to have, I'm going to note that I use a lodestone just because of the way that it looks here. However, you don't have to use a lodestone. I know some would say it's not very survival friendly. So, I use a lodestone. You can use anything you want. Uh, but like I said, it just it depends on what you want. But now we need our connectors to connect the leg to the chassis. And I use grindstones. Gives it a bit of a feel like they could move. That, you know, this could sort of angle itself. The legs have a little more freedom. And apparently I have Facebook up. My bad. Alright. So now we put the iron trap door here. Put the iron trap door there. Now I gotta grab this from that. As you can see, the front part and the back part, you know, when we get to over here, the lodestone has this grill. It's to give it more of a mechanical look. But while we're here at the uh, fence part, not fence, uh, iron trap door, which I'll just bring it out a fair amount because it needs to come out yeah, about there. What we're going to do is put anvils, followed by a lodestone. Again, you don't have to use a lodestone. And then anvils. That is very loud. 
why did I ever choose anvils? Because they look cool. Now normally, I would have my chassis, you know, covered like that. However, because this is a military grade chassis, I'm actually going to be using uh, basalt stone blocks like so. Basalt stairs, my bad. <laughs> uh, like this. That way, uh, for a little fantasy flavor, you know, if there's any explosions on the underside, this V shape will be pushing the force of the explosion away. We use this in modern military technology. A belie I believe an APC called the Cougar uses something like this, where you know it's a V, it's a metal V underneath the chassis, designed to redirect the impact from IEDs and such. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the chassis. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'll do a little cut here, and then we will come back to work on the cab. All right, so now that we got the chassis finished, and hopefully you got, oh, I see I forgot something. Hold on. Hey, I forgot these little parts. You know, I always seem to forget something. But yeah, we'll be moving on to the next section, which is the cab. Now, I've designed the cab to be autonomous, but I, probably with some finagling, you could fit a, uh, actual person inside the cab but for the time being we're going to stick with what we got for the current model and I just realized I need a certain block Ooh, hold on hold on where is it there it is all right so for this back row I want a straight line of the basalt and over here normally would have the same straight line however this side over here is going to have a smooth redstone block i'll explain why in a bit when we get to that part of the chassis now for the front part here we're actually getting stairs up here because over here i'm having the whole shift a lot over here, we're going to have two blast furnaces. I use them to look like, sort of make it look like parts of an engine that is exposed. And then we got a flat half slab here. Now, behind the half slab, we're going to have two concrete blocks. Now, because of the style that I'm going with, you know, doing the whole gray and orange or black and orange, you know, I wanted to go with orange for inside here. But, you know, you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you wish. So, got a little flat thing here. Uh, whoops. Stare and stare. Now, on the inside, this is all can be whatever filler block you want. I'm just making it the basalt thing because it's a lot easier to, well, you know, just go with the same material. I know in survival, you could have limitations on materials, but, you know, in creative, that's not really an issue. Now, we're continuing the further diag, not further diagonal, the further V shape on the underside that we originally started on the chassis because this is supposed to, you know, further push the blast away, you know, get it away, get the force of the blast. So hopefully, you know, less damage. Now, of course, this doesn't really work in Minecraft, but then again, you know, this is just a bunch of blocks. So now, with this, with the first part of the cab done, we go up to the second layer. Now, I like to go with the whole, you know, curve look. So I prefer to go with stairs. 
uh, for this part. But you could do uh, a solid block if you want to. It's a, it'll look a little more blocky, but again, I, I'm trying to go for like a semi, like sleek, stealthy-ish type situation, you know. Uh, and I want my stairs to, whoops, to go like that a bit. Uh, no, not like that. There we go. So again, another row. This row is actually visible, so whatever you want it to be, you know, if you want it to be your filler block, you can have it be your filler block, but uh, I don't want it to be my filler block because, again, it is visible. And we're going to put this on top of here because we don't want the whatever our interior sticking up. But this is exactly where you could place uh, a seat. You know, if you, eh, let me just show you. If you wanted to do something like, I don't know. Uh, I know some people will say this ain't the best time. You should just show, you know, do it then show. But it's like, you know what? Let's just do it now since we're on the subject. Uh, so in we go and see you're driving it now so you could very easily do that but for me I want the autonomous look so uh, let's get all this back down to here so the orange concrete for me and you know, you could use a trap door uh, to cover the top. I just, but since this, I don't plan to go in there, I just stick with the, you know, granite, uh, half, granite, <laughs> basalt half slab. Now, here we come to the antenna. Because with this being a autonomous thing, it has to be able to receive a signal. So with red sandstone, I'm actually going to use uh, half, half slabs and stairs to sort of give it a bit of a thinner, extended look. So stair, half slab, underside is half slab where the stair is, stair where the half slab is, you know. The only full block is this one. So prevent spawning, but also it works like this. And then I like to do a redstone uh, block just because of the fact of, uh, looks like a little antenna signal, you know, the tip of an antenna receiving the signal. But that is the cab done. So next up is the cannon. All right, so now we're onto this. So, with this being cannon mounted, I actually make a small change to the cab here. Just because, since this is going to be a little narrower, my support blocks don't need to be there. We do, however, start here. Uh, and I want to get some underside to give a little detail. So we have, we start with a pattern like this, you know, stairs, stair, upside down stairs here and over there. Then we do another row of stairs. Uh, this one, however, is not gonna get the underside treatment. And then we get another set of stairs. Now this is where the concrete kicks in. So we're gonna bring it about, uh, about here. So that's like what, seven, eight long? Uh, on the top side, because I want it covered still, the concrete part gets a cap. But it will also get a skirt as well. I uh, Hopefully I'm using this terminology correctly. So the top side and the lower side are both going to get covers. Now, we've got the sides here. 
Now, for a little fun detail, we're going to make this, it's going to look one block wide, however, because of the way we've got this built, it's actually two blocks wide, but looks one block from over here. So it gives it a bit of a, a cannonish look. So we're going to apply the same to over here. Uh, same to here. And we are getting close to the end of this. Just got a few more details to add. All right, so now you want a temporary block here, but that's just mainly so you can place your stairs without having to really worry about the hassle. Uh, now with those done, hmm, there we go. So now we've got, is this right? I don't think this is right. Let me double check to see what I did over here. Ah, that's what I did different over there. I didn't use the trap doors. I mean, well, I did use trap doors, but in here was where we continued the whole little segment thing. So it looks like it's supported, held up, range, everything. But now we got the little details because if you build this in survival, mobs can spawn on this and we don't want that. So with some end rods and levers, you can get some fancy lighting. So levers on each end of the cannon. And with the end rods, not only does it light up the top of the cannon so nothing is spawning up here, but it looks like it's part of the charging mechanism. Now, this is a small thing to fix but it's not a big issue so on the underside you do have to break this layer to get in but once you've got things put in place it's just easy to replace the parts you had to break so boop boop Boop, boop, boop. All right. Now, once more on the other side, gotta break in. Place that. Oh, oh I forgot this is the lever here. Uh, and now, and now you have your own little walker. I think I did pretty good trying to copy this from my original design, but yeah. So hopefully you guys were able to follow. If you weren't, you know, try to slow it down maybe, you know, in case I went a little too fast for you. And again, don't be afraid to try different colors. You know, I just like to go with the black and orange. It just, that fits for me. Uh, but, you know, for all I know, you could do greens and blues or... Uh, trying to think, maybe sandstone for, like, desert variant? Yeah, there's different, there's different things you could do. But for this... This is what we got. So, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoy. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, and if you like this video in particular, consider hitting the like button. It helps uh, with the algorithm. And if you want to be notified of when I post videos on this channel, consider hitting the uh, bell icon. That way YouTube will send out a notification when a video goes live. This has been Slade the Black Mage, and I will see you all around the bend. Have a good one, folks.